Hi, loves. It's been a minute. And not for no reason. I have been spiritpreneuring so hard on a yearly course that I put on that I love to do that um, is actually part mentorship of other spiritpreneurs and just part teaching experience that uh, gives people lots and lots of tools for um, tools and practices for being able to embody the my ADHD is and like my morning brain is so fucked up by these these outdoor sounds and yet I want to be outside wouldn't it be nice if um, in residential areas people just like didn't use electric things if it was just that that one half second moment <laughs> um, yeah helps helps people to embrace the flow of life and to uh, not be so in control all the time <sighs> and and now that I'm finished with uh, creating the sales page which took me until 1 a.m. to um, really just nail everything down um, I feel like I'm back in the flow Something that I love about um, creating a sales page is that I get to be a web designer and I get to be a graphic designer and I get to be a copywriter. I get to use my writing and my art and my, um, my Virgo moon formatting, structuring skills. And I also kind of hate at the same time that I am a a one-person show right now um, it's wonderful it's a little uh, update for you um, it's wonderful that I have a partner who has volunteered their time uh, once a week to check in with me and to help me um, set some goals and make sure that I am following through on things so that I can um, be more focused and feel like I'm not aimless because as an ADHD spiritpreneur sometimes spirits moving me and I don't know where <laughs> and I just uh, sometimes I follow spirit into into the unknown but like without any uh, significantly productive follow-through or without the accountability for um, things that need to be done um, consistently with commitment. Oh, hi! All the ants are, are just chilling. Just like, can you see them hanging out around me? Um, so it's really nice to have, uh, you know, the first member of my team but I am a one-person show right now, and I'm, I'm sure you can relate to that, uh, being that uh, spiritpreneurs, uh, any entrepreneur, is uh, usually a solopreneur when we start. And I think that's the reason why so many businesses fail, is that we take things on by ourselves and we don't call in um, people to help us with the things that um, we, we're not actually that good at, and the thing that I know that I'm not good at is, um, creating a structure and sticking to it and accepting that the deadlines that I create for myself are real, because what I end up doing is <laughs> I will create deadlines for myself and then halfway through the week I will... Um, become uncommitted and say but I'm in the flow and I need to trust spirit that I'm in the flow and I will essentially look at the deadline that I created and say it's fucking arbitrary it's arbitrary I just picked a time and I picked a thing and I did the thing and now 
it doesn't really matter because it was me that created it and not something holding me to that fire. I lose my spark because I don't have anyone to hold me to the fire. There it is. Ouch. <laughs> but it's good that I know that about myself and I invite you to, to think about the maybe even just one thing that trips you up that you are not good at yourself and to tune in to um, how you can find a way to make sure that that thing is something you can be held accountable to or set up some follow through with because excuse me in reality if you don't have um, some kind of intrinsic and external motivation then you're probably not going to succeed if you uh, don't learn the basics of everything that you're doing but also pass the baton over to other people and have a team have um, you know more than just you devoted to the success of what you're doing you're not gonna succeed and I really want you to, to succeed and um, I created this spiritpreneur portal because it matters to me I also uh, just wanted to give you uh, a little piece of what I've been working on and um, today it's going to be in the form of a clip from the TMI Tuesday video from the Divine Chaos Course 2020. And the Divine Chaos Course is my annual thing that I work on uh, every year and uh, bring in uh, spiritpreneurs to be speakers in the course, uh, to create workshops and resources for the course. And in 2020, I invited my friend Lada Barauna and I also invited Colin Bedell of Queer Cosmos. And uh, I'm going to give you a little clip from uh, Colin's TMI Tuesday uh, because he did his as a video and his was um, very interesting. Um, definitely felt like um, kind of a moment that we, that we all have as um, as people in a social world where we learn that when we take our ideas and we expose them to the light, we expose, expose them to other people, expose other people to them, uh, what we get is uh, a mixture of feedback. So um, I think this is another important part of being a spiritpreneur and um, the TMI Tuesday was um, uh, last year a, a part of the course that um, had each speaker talk about something that's very personal and that's a little vulnerable and uh, a moment of, of chaos in their lives that they um, not just overcame but that helped them to realize that they needed chaos in their lives, that they needed to either become chaos or accept chaos. And I love that Colin became the chaos that he wanted to see in the world by changing people's minds and uh, really connecting with um, a, a piece of their soul that just made them feel like, hmm, yeah, this has never sat right with me, and now that you've said the thing, I I want to I want to do more. I want to see more. I want uh, I want to see change. So here is that clip. Other schools of thought within the astrological system and in the astrological conversation that use certain systems and techniques and methods to explain perhaps something is in dignity or something is debilitated or something is in detriment or these higher, lower, you know, kind of strength-based or deficit-based 
uh, measurement system. And I just never really flowed with that. Uh, and so a few months ago, it was actually during uh, Mercury retrograde in Pisces. So big up to Kellyanne's uh, natal Mercury position. I posted a video about how I believe that whole method is bullshit, right? And uh, <laughs> I never would have anticipated just how much hot water that would have got me into. And now I did not know the entire system as I was critiquing it. So that's totally where I missed the mark. But what I was so impressed by was how people were coming out of the woodwork and saying, you know, no, that is true. I never felt like when someone called my Venus in detriment in Aries that that was particularly helpful or this really did hurt my feelings or this did make me feel less empowered. This did make me feel that I didn't have a certain level of sovereignty and power within my neo position. I knew that I was getting closer to a meaningful but uncomfortable discourse, right? Because then... It went on, you know, Astro Twitter. I don't even have a Twitter account, P.S., but it went on Twitter and people were so mad. People do be getting mad, though. <laughs> so if you want to see the entire TMI Tuesday video to really feel out what uh, Colin is talking about and to hear the conclusion of how he handled things uh, go to vforvibrant.com slash divine chaos 2022 to check out the divine chaos course and see if that's something that you're into that you want to be a part of we have a limited number of spaces and we also have for a limited time the entire divine chaos 2020 all of the materials, including all of Colin Bedell's and Lada Bada Una's um, materials and resources, and mine, um, my workshop, and TMI Tuesday, and resource from that time, um, they are all going to be available as a pre sale bonus in addition to the Divine Chaos workbook, uh, both the printable. Um, ebook as well as the audiobook version so um, if you're you know a, a multifaceted learner or if you have a hearing impairment that is going to be really helpful for you um, definitely go and check it out because uh, those things are only available as bonuses for a short time and I want to make sure that everybody who is interested in um, being a part of this space and really connecting with that inner your own inner circle of trust and your own inner peace again and the ability to adapt and go with the flow during all of the changes and all of the non-consensual transitions that we've been making from 2020 on until now and definitely will continue happening beyond now. Um, I want to make sure that anybody who's interested in that, if you are interested in that, that you have these tools and resources and practices to help you move forward in a powerfully healing way, in a way that not as just is not just medicine for you you know to like oh yes yep i needed that and i needed i needed this kind of change this kind of change and not so much of the other kind of change but also is a space in which you feel like you can play a little and you can laugh because that is how i believe learning should be done so that is one of the, those are some of the intentions that I just set in the creation of this course. Um, in addition to six months of follow-up, I was just talking about how follow-up is a, a, a hard thing for me to set for myself, which is why I know whenever I've done the Divine Chaos course, I kind of feel like there's something missing. And this is the first year that it hasn't just been like a, a four week, five week, three week, four week, five week drop in the bucket of like, 
here you go, here are some things, and now you're responsible for coming back to these resources on your own and self-leading, self-guiding through it. This year, we're doing things a little bit differently. We are giving you six months of bi-weekly emails that include just reminders to come back to the thing and do it and um, be a part of it and, and feel into it. In addition to, excuse me, additional resources, more tools and practices, offerings for one-on-one -on -one, um, connection with the speakers, with the spirit, the other spiritpreneurs and, and experts in this course, and just so many goodies to help you until the first week in February 2023. That's how long we are going to be following up on this course because Divine Chaos isn't just something that you can, you know, like adapt right away. It's something that we have to we have to break down the walls of toxic order, aka the toxic masculinity that has been pervading our space and our social sphere. We have to break that down. We have to develop a new relationship with order that isn't just restrictive and rigid, but helps us to maintain space so that we can be creative, so that we can trust our intuition, so that we can do what we want to do in such a fluid, flexible, but also like respect and integrity and authentic oriented way. It just, we, we want to help you break the old container, create a new container, and make it big enough and spacious enough and just sexy enough, <laughs> pleasurable enough that you want to come to this container instead and to show up just fantastically in it, um, accepting the flow of life and not uh, getting bogged down by all of the external changes that, like I said, are going to continue happening. Uh, <laughs> despite um, our best efforts to be the change that we want to see, sometimes we um, revert to apathy. Sometimes we let our resentments get the better of us. And sometimes we feel stuck when we're in the in-between, when so many things are shifting and changing and moving and we have no idea what to do. And we are at a loss because uh, so much loss is happening around us. This course, all those things that I just named, this course is going to directly address all of those things. So again, if this is something that you wanna be a part of, uh, definitely go and click the link in the caption here or type in to your browser because it actually looks, the, the site actually looks like way better on, um, on a computer screen, but you know, it still looks good on your phone, you know. I did, the, I did all the formatting myself, you know. Um, so I'm pretty proud of it. Um, go to vforvibrant.com slash divine chaos 2022 and you will get to see for yourself exactly what you're going to get who you're working with uh in the course and um just get to feel if this is the right thing for you i love you so much thank you for joining me i hope you know and if you don't i hope you are starting to believe that you are deserving of all the love you desire and hope you have a beautiful wonderful rest of your day mm -hmm.